Hey, how you doing? Jason here, and in this one we're gonna learn about alcohol, distillation, fermentation, liquors, liqueurs. Hey, how are you? In this video, I wanna talk about alcohol itself. I've never actually made a video where I delved into the process of how, how alcohol is made, distillation. I talk about it a little bit in the old video, but that's just kind of very cursory and honestly a little bit oversimplified. So I wanna kinda of just clarify a little bit more, maybe getting kinda of nerdy and scientific in the explanations on how this stuff all goes down. First thing, I've never done any of this myself. I've always just been a bartender who goes to work at a bar. So if you're an expert and you have more information about this, then please feel free to share it in the comments either below or on the blog. Next thing, 15 plus years of being a working bartender, this information has never come up. I've never been asked about it. I've never been grilled about it in a, in a job interview. So it's not anything that is of dire importance for you to know what this is when you're working. This is just kind of fun stuff that if you want to and you're nerding out on bartending and you want to have some cool to talk about, then hopefully this will be something that can take away and appreciate. And there's a lot of, to it, so I have my little notes here and I apologize if that's annoying if I'm reading while talking to the camera. If you really hate that, then let me know and I'll make sure to try not to do that in the future. Basically, the making of alcohol has two main parts. There's the fermentation and there is the distillation. And those are separate things that happen. Now, alcohol, more specifically ethanol, alcohol, also called ethanol, grain alcohol, or alcohol, is a member of the class of organic compounds whose molecular formula is C2H5OH. So how's that for some nerdy for you? Now the main process for manufacturing is produced by means of fermentation induced by yeast. So the chemical process by which glucose, fructose, and sucrose sugars are broken down anaerobically, which means without air, by yeast. Now wine is also produced by fermentation of natural sugars present in the grapes. Beer, whiskey, scotch, and vodka are produced by fermentation of grain starches that have been converted to sugar by the enzyme amylase. Other sources of starch like potatoes or unmalted grain may be added to the mixture as the amylase will act on those starches as well. More broadly, fermentation is the foaming. Basically when you, you can see this happening, the foaming and the bubbling that happens on top of beers and wines or alcohols. And it's the same process that's been happening and that they've used for tens of thousands of years. Pure ethanol alcohol is colorless, flammable liquid and an agreeable ethereal odor and burning taste. So it's earthy and burns your throat. Ethyl alcohol is toxic, affecting the central nervous system. Moderate amounts relax the muscles and produces an apparent stimulating effect by depressing the inhibitory activities of the brain, causing us to want to make out with that cute guy or girl, but larger amounts impair coordination and judgment, causing us to do all kinds of manner of dumb when we're wasted. Finally, producing coma and death if you drink too much. It is an addictive drug for some people and can lead to the disease of alcoholism, which is an unfortunate rampant element of our society and world at large, really. But that's another conversation. So fermentation is basically the, the chemical process that happens to create the alcohol. Once the alcohol is created, we need to separate it from that big vat. And this is where distillation comes in. Distillation is basically the process of taking the fermented liquid and purifying it to remove the water and impurities also makes the concentration of the alcohol higher. Page two of my super nerdy notes for you. Now, rum and some other beverages are produced by fermentation and distillation of sugarcane. Gin, this is an answering one. I didn't really know this one until I researched for this video. Gin is a spirit which derives its predominant flavor from the juniper berries, which I did know that. But this is a juniper flavored spirit not made from the redistillation of botanicals, but by adding the approved natural flavoring substances to a natural spirit. Fancy way of saying that it's basically just like a generic ethanol alcohol base, and then they flavor it with juniper berries. Rice wines, including sake, are produced by the fermentation of grain starches converted to sugar by molds molds, which is probably why you get a good nice hangover when you drink sake, and are distilled from the product of that fermentation process. So a lot of big fancy words there. What does that all mean? It just means that there's two parts to the process. There's the fermentation where the alcohol is made and there's the distillation where it is filtered essentially and purified and concentrated. I also wanted to cover liquor versus liqueur in this video because that's a little bit of a confusing topic as well. 
in general, an easy way to think about this is liqueurs are sweetened and flavored liquors. The official definition that I could find is a liqueur is an alcoholic beverage made from a distilled spirit that has been flavored with fruit, cream, herbs, spices, flowers, or nuts, and bottled with added sugar and other sweeteners, including high fructose corn syrup. The most reliable rule of thumb is that liqueurs are quite sweet and often syrupy in consistency, so they're a little bit thicker, while liquors are just basically fire water. Most liqueurs have a lower alcohol content and can range anywhere from 15 to 30 percent alcohol by volume, which would make them 30 to 60 proof, whereas most spirits are about 40 percent or 80 proof, like most hard liquors. Some can actually contain as much as 55 percent alcohol by volume or 110 proof. In parts of the United States, liquors may also be called cordials or schnapps. Just means that you take a liquor and you add flavors to it after the whole fermentation distillation process and thus have a much higher content of sugar and are much likely to give you a real nasty hangover. So be careful with those. If you have any questions, leave them down below. There's no guarantee that I can answer anything beyond the stuff that I have researched in this. Remember, there's very little, if ever, any conversations that will ever come up with your customers about this. And it's just something that's fun for you to know. Okay, that's it for this one. Hopefully that wasn't too heavy on, on the left side of your brain please make sure to subscribe so that you can get notifications whenever i do have new videos coming out i'll see you next time take care bye for more kick-ass videos check out these playlists and subscribe to get new videos bartending pro out